Over the last, I would say, 10, 15 years, we've come to realize obesity is a major risk factor for asthma. Um, and obese asthmatics tend to have more severe asthma. Uh, in fact, a recent study showed that 50% of obese as of asthmatics in this country with severe asthma were actually also suffering with obesity. We think there are actually two different types of asthma and obesity. There's people who have had asthma all their life, they've had allergic asthma, they gain weight, um, and asthma control gets worse. And then there's a different type of asthma, uh, people who are actually developing asthma who've never had asthma before, but are developing it in the setting of obesity. In general, we found that bariatric surgery improves asthma control. Uh, there have been some weight loss studies done. Uh, the, the data suggests you've got to lose quite a bit of weight to improve asthma control. Uh, it improves your symptoms. Whether actually it improves your twitchy airways is a bit more of an open question. Well, I think trying to overcome the obesity epidemic is a bit uh, more than I can do. Uh, but um, my mission really is to, is to try and help people who are suffering with obesity and asthma and try and find uh, better ways of treating them and making sure that we're not treating them inappropriately. Um, and certainly weight loss will help a lot of people but the other message to get out there is they don't respond as well to other medications so we shouldn't be putting them on a high dose of potentially toxic medications. I think we're beginning to understand that when we say asthma it's about as sort of specific as saying um, arthritis. That there are lots of different things that can lead to sort of joint problems in the same way there's lots of different things that can lead to airway problems that we call asthma. So I think we are beginning to learn we have to differentiate between the kids, the parents and the grandparents. Well, I am talking to people about diet um, and one of the eye-opening things is you never talk to someone who's suffering with obesity that hasn't tried to lose weight but we try and talk to them about strategies to do that. Um, I try and make sure that we don't have them on a high dose of corticosteroid medications which can have side effects. Um, I try and counsel them about the, the role of obesity and I look for other things that could be worsening their asthma such as uh, sleep apnea uh, and um, actually depression is, contributes to poor asthma control and obesity. It's, it's very complicated and I think we have to sort of be a little more holistic than perhaps we've been previously as chest physicians. Uh, but I certainly um, do want to try and treat their sleep apnea. I want to liaise with their primary care physician to get them on appropriate treatment for depression. I think trying to just treat their airways and forget about everything else will not effectively treat their airway disease.